When buying a hippistrum bulb in a store, we also recommend choosing a pot for planting it further. Planting a bulb in a pot that is too large will kill the plant. There should be no more than 3 cm from the surface of the bulb to the edge of the pot. The pot should have one or more drainage holes in it. The material of the pot doesn't matter. You can buy a soil mixture for bulbous plants or prepare it by yourself. We use a soil mixture for cacti to plant our hippistrum plant. You can find more information on how to do it in this video. This mixture has high draining properties, which is important for the hippistrum. However, it doesn't contain enough nutrients for the plant to develop it after flowering. Therefore, we compensate for the lack of nutrients by using mineral fertilizers. After planting and until the end of flowering, we provide the following care conditions for the plant. Temperature. Optimum temperature is from 20 to 22 degrees Celsius. Maximum permissible temperature not lower than plus 18 degrees Celsius. Illumination. Direct sunlight, but diffused light is also allowed. Watering frequency after the soil surface in the pot has dried. We do not provide any feeding until the end of flowering. The leaves will begin to develop from the top of the bulb very soon. In some hybrids, the flower arrow may develop first. After the end of flowering, remove the flower arrow. The goal of further plant maintenance is to ensure that the plant is able to develop at least three new leaves, thereby preparing for the next year's flowering. Many modern hippistrum hybrids do not develop cuttings or babies. In order to propagate such a plant, there is one way apart from the seed propagation. First, cut off the leaves. Then, remove the top layer of the soil, exposing the bottom of the bulb or, as it's also called, a basal plate. Cut the bulb with a cross. Cutting should be deep to the bottom, but do not cut the bottom itself. We insert a metal wire made of stainless steel into the cut. A plastic stick is also suitable. Next, we provide the plant with the care conditions which were described earlier. However, it should be remembered that at temperatures above plus 30 degrees Celsius, direct sunlight is not acceptable for the hippistrum plant. four months after cutting. A year after the operation, the main bulb will practically disappear and the bulbs can be transplanted. Another way to stimulate the development of plant babies is to cut the bottom of the bulb by analogy with removing the bottom of the hyacinth. You can watch our video on this topic too. I hope you learned something new from this video. Don't forget to hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel. Also, I want to say huge thanks to all of the patrons on our Patreon page, where we post some behind-the-scenes material and give an early access to our new videos. You can also become our patron if you like. The link is in the description below. I wish you good luck and see you in the next episode.